Yo guys, I'm going to review what Olivia Budgen eats in a day, the girl from Epitome 3. She's been detoxing for years now. Sad, without a child, lonely. She's very small, which is why she still looks like a child, even though she's in her late 20s, actually. Hi, everyone, and welcome Oh, man, she looks way worse than she used to. Way worse. Wow, how can you detox for so many years? Get so much worse, not realize that you're doing something wrong. Finally, to another video. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you what I eat in a day. The so eyes. I've got my lemon water here and some fresh young Thai coconut water. I'm very just stop it. Fortunate to be able to get my hands on organic fresh coconut water, and it is my absolute favorite thing to drink. Such potential, completely ruined. Drink in the morning, it is so refreshing and hydrating. But I'll always start off with my lemon water first. So yes, finally getting around to making another video. Uh, I'm doing my best with everything else I've got going on in my life. What is it supposed to do? Detox somehow? You need to eat a lot of raw liver. Your body is screaming for nutritious animal foods, it's so obvious the moment but yeah i absolutely love making youtube videos so i truly hope that you guys she looks young and at the same time like a grandma it's terrible uh still enjoying them even though they are obviously inconsistent and yeah it's really uh it has been really rainy for the past week and i think it's going to continue being really dark and rainy and cloudy here in gold coast queensland for the next few weeks we're meant to have a really wet rainy summer start of summer anyway yeah let me know if you guys are the same as me i don't mind rain i think it's beautiful and comforting and cleansing sometimes but when it hits like the three day mark <laughs> i like how she says cleansing is this whole detox speech in her head of being dark and cloudy and i haven't seen the sun for that long there's just like this not so good shift in me like i just really crave the sun my body craves the sunlight touching its skin and yeah my mood just doesn't feel as good when the sun hasn't been out in a while it's understandable humans naturally need sunlight okay but if your mood is that affected by it just because of cloudy days or even rain then there's something wrong with your nutrition because you should be getting all of the fat soluble vitamins such as vitamin d which you would be getting from the sun also from your food but you are not getting it because you eat a vegan diet probably still but anyway it's not like a huge deal it's just something that i notice and i'm just wondering if you guys also notice the same with yourself so i'm going to go and hydrate up with this lemon water and coconut water and then i'm going to make some celery juice in about an hour so i will see you guys then <laughs> i've never wished it so much for anybody ever that they would stop this nonsense you really need somebody to tell you what you're doing to yourself you really need to listen to people because you clearly don't realize what's going on. You can't simply drink lemon water and then coconut water in the morning as a breakfast or whatever it's supposed to be, and then celery juice some hours later. You need nutritious foods. All of the stuff that you're drinking is not cleansing you. These plant foods are toxic so that when you ingest them, they trigger the body's immune mechanism and try to fight off the toxins in the plants and this is why they are called uh, detoxing foods. They do not help you detox from anything. You are detoxing from the plant foods. This should be clearly understood. <sighs> oh all right, uh, she grows it herself, I believe. That's all great. It doesn't really change the fact that you're gonna be juicing something that's generally toxic, no matter where you grow it. Yeah, you may not have any pesticides, for example. That's awesome, but celery? As an example, it has poisons that will make you allergic to the sun. Yet you talk about the sun as if you miss it, but then if you juice too much celery, eventually you're gonna get a rash from it, if you are in the sun. Huh. 
high quality juicer. She's really trying. It's just that she's going the completely wrong way. She could be doing everything right. She obviously has the motivation. Who would do this for years? Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> It's, it's, it's. So for all my medical medium uh, people out there, you know sometimes when you make celery juice and you take your first sip and you think, oh, this is so beautiful and sweet and delicious. You haven't ate anything the whole day. Anything that you would be drinking now would taste delicious to you because you're literally starving. And I could easily drink like a whole liter of this. Well, this is not one of those times. Um, is definitely like a really dark, rich green, um, a bit more on the bitter side and... Bitter is toxic. Doesn't quite go down as smoothly. But this is the first time that I'm drinking celery juice from celery out of my garden, which is really, really special. The experience of eating mm. something that you pick yourself out of your garden that you've tended with love and care to grow is a really... Try raising your own animals or hunting your own meat, uh, slaughtering, killing your own animals and then eating it. <laughs> That's an experience. That will actually make you feel really good. A special experience, so I am grateful for that. All right, this is the first food that she's gonna eat some bananas fiber and sugar with a lot more toxins i was reading her website and she was blaming everything some kind of toxic relationship she was in which of course is not good for the psyche all right and some other stuff which may or may not contribute to her health problems a little bit here and there somehow she didn't grow up eating a raw liver brain and so on that would make her feel amazing she would have never went down the path of veganism she would have never had any of these health issues that she had those hands man Oh my god. Oh my god, man. This reminds me of the fruitarian girl. Granny hands, really. I don't say that to offend her. She's just sick. So. Just incredibly fragile, weak. I just want to feed her and get her to be well. Yeah. For lunch, I two juicy mangoes. Mangoes have just come into season so that's why I've been having them mostly for breakfast and lunch. And then I've just got a big bowl of spinach and two tomatoes that I like to... to I just try. Okay so she's doing raw veganism basically. Mangoes again just like the bananas have fiber and sugar, some vitamin C but uh, all the actual micronutrients that you need to be healthy, vitamins A, D, K, 2 for example, non-existent. And the other stuff... Um, Oxalates, other toxins, tomatoes are a nightshade, shouldn't be overconsumed, though it's a fruit and not a vegetable, as some people think, so that's at least better. Often like apples, and I, I don't know if it's a bit weird, but I just love the taste of baby spinach, and I love getting in my greens with each meal when I can, so this is what I'm having. Everything also looks so white and sterile in the house. Uh, I don't know if she lives alone, probably not, maybe with her parents. Maybe that's how they made her grow up. Uh, there's something wrong there mentally that she went on this clean diet anyway, which she believes it is. Of course it isn't at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here and relax and eat my lunch and I will see you guys for dinner. Yeah, cool. You live in a nice environment, but can you even enjoy it? Pets run after sticks, dogs anyway, because they actually want to hunt an animal. What you would usually be doing is using your dog as a guard or as an animal to help you hunt. The dog actually wants you to tell them to go and uh, hunt whatever, a rabbit. Ooh. 
is that Swiss chard really insanely toxic, really bad. <laughs> you just can't help this girl, this is a severe delusion. Is she using the rep for iodine? Ah, oh, somebody needs to help her. So for the first part of my dinner, I always have my dinner in two parts. She reminds me of Freely. And the first part is always savory and then I finish off with a fruit meal before bed. One of my favorite meals lately has been nori rolls. Oh my god. So, so <laughs> I've literally had I don't know what to do to laugh or cry. Food. This is so bad. It's like a salad in a nori roll. Altogether I use four big leaves of chard. Um, there's tons of kale and baby spinach and sprouts, fresh herbs, cilantro basil and mint and then I've got tomato, cucumber, capsicum, ginger and garlic and spring onion. I think that's it. So these babies are packed, they're pretty much like little burrito. I didn't really hear what you said but uh, you need to get off this diet. <laughs> you really need to start eating animal foods, that's about it. It doesn't even matter what it is that you specifically eat because what you eat doesn't have over 15 micronutrients. You need a lot of raw fat. Man, even cooked fat doesn't matter. Really? And yeah, a lot of people like to cut them up into small pieces and eat them like that. Just noticed I got turmeric. <laughs> turmeric fingers. Yeah, turmeric is super toxic. Fun, in it, might. Uh, some people cut them in half. I just like to eat them like burritos. Yeah, because you want actual burritos. At least those still have some animal foods. Of course, why does any vegan replicate any of those animal foods anyway? And yeah, I will have two of these. I'm surprised she even still has her hair, but it is very thin actually, I think. And then I usually like to wait a bit and I will make another two and then I will have my last meal, my fruit meal after that. So I will see you guys for that. Okay, so for my last meal of the day, my fruit meal, I'm having this recipe, which is by <sighs> and it's called his apple sauce recipe and it's really delicious you guys. It's just two apples, two dates and half a stalk of celery, one small or half a large. And you can put in up to four dates as well, but I find it just to be uh, way too- All of the stuff that you eat is man-made. Celery is man-made. It doesn't exist in nature. Why on earth would you think that it's gonna detox you or help your health in any way at all. How can it? It doesn't make any sense. Eat naturally or stop eating. <laughs> Rich and sweet. And I actually got another four dates here. Do you remember when you were little and your mum used to feed you uh, the apple puree kind of stuff? My no. used to give that to me all the time and I used to love it. Never had it. it. This kind of reminds me of that. Sweet and delicious and has a caramel-like flavor. I'm pretty sure you also ate animal foods as a child. Don't you remember those? Don't you crave those? Don't you ever think about them? Probably all the time. And then I'll head off to bed soon. So that's it for today's video. Leave any comments and questions below. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Alright, uh, I do have a question. What do you see when you look in the mirror? Do you see somebody healthy? Probably not. Then, if you've been doing this for so many years, how can you not realize that it is not helping you? I can understand going for months, maybe one year, if you really delusionally think you're somehow sick and need to detox some heavy metals, whatever. Okay, even that's a delusion, but I kind of get it. But if you've been going for so many years, and you basically almost always say it, uh, a raw vegan diet, or even if it was somewhat cooked here and there, and now the medical medium stuff, all of it is more or less the same thing. It's eating plants that don't have over 15 micronutrients that always leads to starvation, malnutrition. And of course, you're also not getting a lot of the macronutrients. A lot of the chemicals, uh, the saturated fat, uh, basically zero, which is why you're not getting the fat soluble vitamins. Shouldn't you then at last now start thinking about completely changing your diet and not eating any kind of a vegan diet Nothing that has to do with a plant-based diet. Really, if I lived in Queensland, Australia, I would probably email her and try to actually help her and possibly bring her some actual food so that she tastes it, 
feels way better and realizes what is actually going on here. Thanks for watching.